What do we want? Dream back. What do we want? Now. About 100 protesters rallied on the Rutgers Newark campus, one of several demonstrations today across New Jersey marking the March 5th deadline set by the president for the expiration of DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. They urged Congress to fix DACA. We need a Clean Dream Act now. We are tired of being dreamers because in every way, except for a piece of paper, we are U.S. citizens. And all we want is for this country a country that we love and that we call home to love us back and let us stay. Yeah. New Jersey's home to more than 22,000 dreamers who gained a brief reprieve when two federal appeals courts temporarily blocked Donald Trump's order to end DACA. The program has resumed processing applications, but its existence and dreamers' status remains politically fraught. I applied last Thursday. Um, I renewed. I sent out my application process. So I'm really excited to, to see when I can get my card again because it's kind of like a sigh of relief. Efforts to fix DACA stalled in Washington last month with both sides blaming the other. Dems are no longer talking DACA. Out of sight, out of mind, they say, Trump tweeted February 24th. We gave him virtually uh, so much of what he wanted, he still couldn't accept it. And so he left the dreamers uh, not with a dream, but uh, with a nightmare. The protesters marched to the federal building in Newark, scene of increased deportation orders by Immigration and Customs Enforcement in New Jersey. More than 2,500 last year, that's up 37 percent from 1,852 deported in 2016. However, Hudson County officials recently announced staff at the county jail would no longer ask about immigration status. They have one of the most diverse communities in the state, and for them to have this kind of contract was really problematic. So it's a good sign, and I think it sends a message to the other counties that they should really rethink those contracts, too. Officers at the jails in Monmouth, Cape May, and Salem still check in immigration papers. Meanwhile, passengers on an NJ Transit train tweeted this morning that the conductor announced there are ICE agents and Homeland Security on the train looking for illegals. But both agencies denied it, and NJ Transit immediately suspended the crew member without pay, adding, NJ Transit will not tolerate such reprehensible conduct. Dreamers feel the stress. I wake up every day fearing for my family's safety, and I, I just want to be here to make a difference because I don't know what my future is going to look like. Congress and the president remain locked in a legislative stalemate. The fate of DACA and immigration reform may rest in the hands of the U.S. Supreme Court. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.